Hello friend, welcome back. In our previous video, I have already discussed about some of the basic structure when you install that React.js project, right? So that is all that our file structure and here that is our index. So in the, into the index that have some of the ID as a root. So as I told you, whatever the things you will put on particular this ID area, that means this ID dev area, or everything will be loaded in our this component area but if you want to put something outside this then what exactly will be happen I show you like I just added on the h1 tag and here I name it as a hello world so this type of one of the text I just added click as a save all and now if you refresh it now you can see it's not perfectly loaded but this is actually showing our outside of this component right so that is actually as I told you so they have some of the ID so this root ID is defined in our SRC that is the index JS into the index JS you can see that is actually the root that means our get element that root okay so right now that is actually the things I hope is very much clear to you so right now we don't need this better I just simply remove it now click as a save all refresh it everything is now perfect so if you want to put anything into the component area then you have to add that things in our this root position okay so friend here one things like so right now we are working in our local host so when you actually updated this project into the web server then if you want to update it then we have to do we have to deploy it that means we have to deploy our this project rather than it should be not recognized all that your file structure okay so for the reasons as i told you they have also one of the things that you can see there is a note that is development build is not optimized to create a production build that means if you want to create a production build then you have to run as the npm run build okay so now i want to do and to actually install it so if you want to install it and uh, then we have to do we have to go to our project directory that means that is our project directory now here i added our cmd so that is our appropriate file location so now here i want to do i want to install it that means i want to install our npm run build so here we have to run it as the npm run build so that is our npm run build okay so now if you click as a enter then it should be downloaded all that file and it may take little time so when it's better when it will be done then i will come back again so it will be created one of the folder in our particular that area as a build so when it will be done i will show you so friend here you can see it's now successfully installed and also is created one of the folder as a build right so as i told you now if you go to our submin text editor you can see there is a clear build folder by default it's added all that our static all the data that means the css jss and all that actually mini file data so that is a css and also that is our media okay everything added on here so this type of one of the uh, folder it will be created when you run that npm run build so this is used for for deploy your project to the web server so literally i will show you that things so right now we successfully install it so right now whatever the things we will do in our this src in our public it will be created one of the compress file and take that file into this build folder area okay so that is actually uh, automatically it should be built everything whatever the things you will be do whatever the things will be created on here so everything automatically it should be save all that compressed data into the build folder so this process will be done by the bubble and the webpack so friend this process actually done by the babel and the webpack that means uh, better i show you there's a babel babel and the webpack babel and the webpack so what exactly this babel and the webpack so babel is whatever the things we will do in a particular that area like here if you write down some of the code then automatically it should be deployed all the things in our build area and into the build area it should be created one of the browser friendly code okay that means uh, like as a chromi browser the firefox browser or others browser so it should be created some of the browser friendly code so this process will be done by this babel and then the webpack and this webpack actually working for bundle your all that module okay that means whatever the things you will do on here it will be then automatically it will be created one of the minify version and that is our all that minify js version automatically it will be created so this process that means this bundle process actually working by this webpack okay that is actually the webpack and that is our bubble so friend i think it's very much clear to you what exactly uh, that bundle and the webpack 
So that's for our deploy our project to the web server. So we successfully also updated our this portion. So here right now we successfully install our npm run build and now our right now right now it's optimized and this optimize actually happened by the two of these things as a bubble and the webpack so bubble is uh, for create some of the whatever the code you will put on here it will be created on of the browser friendly code and webpack will be compress your all that modules right so it's that is all that bubble and the webpack i think it's very much clear to your friend so that's all so in our next video, I want to do, I want to create some of the components, how can create some of the component in React.js. In our next video, I will show you that things with a live example. So thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.